Hello, I'm Dr. Bramlett in Birmingham. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been doing this about 30 years, and uh, obviously that's a long time. But experience over these times has shown that the most common problem with people usually refers to the knee, the shoulder, and the hand. But let's take the knee for today. The knee, obviously, is an articulating hinge joint. What most people understand about the knee is we got a kneecap, got a meniscus on the inside edge. We show the meniscus with the blue piece here. That gets torn, gets locked in the knee, and when it gets locked like that, it hurts. Next step after that is the cartilage itself. That's the surface right here, loses its cartilage. That'd be an osteochondral defect. So between those two things, the meniscal tear, which requires arthroscopic debridement, makes the knee feel unstable, kind of locks up, chronically painful, doesn't get better. It can occur from a twist, a tear, recurrent squatting, bending, things of that nature. The chondral defect is chronic over time, people between 35 to 50, that's a more common problem. And the last thing which people need to understand, the scar tissue represented by this gauze, over time, beating, banging, bumping it on something, develops underneath the kneecap. So when people bend their knee, it pinches and hurts. That also, usually not seen on MRI, can be taken out arthroscopically to decrease that pain. So those are the three most common problems with the knee Easily treated arthroscopic, but usually acute pain irritation becomes chronic, three to six months, no better. Injections make it better for a short period of time. It happens chronically, see somebody about it. Thank you.